Marcy, Skylight, Gray, Cliff, and Redfield done. Now the long walk back to the lodge. 3.55 a.m., just signed in. Santanoni range, let's go. The wind is whipping here in the Seward range today. Just finished the Macomb slide and my legs are on fire. Well, I fell victim to the floating logs again. Made it to the top of East Dix. Peak number three of five for today here in the Dix range. Along Avalanche Pass. On top of Rocky Peak Ridge. It's like a hurricane up here. Rain and wind here on tabletop. Whiteface number six. Muddy day here on Street and Nye for number seven and eight. Sunny and blue on Haystack. Algonquin up in the clouds number 18. Gothics number 22. Panther number 38. Allen number 45. 7 12 a.m. Big slide Adirondack 46er. You're listening to the 46 of 46 podcast. It's 11.30 a.m. Thursday, May 9th. You're on a job for a couple of days. And since I don't work until 4 o'clock this afternoon, I decided to come and start the Fulton Chain Trifecta. I'm going to start today with a quick .5 mile each way Rocky Mountain. Signing in right now. Trail right from the start's a bit muddy. But, uh, all right, here we go. Got a little bit of an open forest here. No leaves on the trees yet. Follow some yellow trail markers as we make our way up Rocky. The Fulton Chain Trifecta consists of three different peaks. Rocky Mountain, Bald Mountain, and Black Bear Mountain. And we had quite the run in last night at work with a black bear over here, which was actually exciting and fun. And it was a good sized black bear. Definitely the bigger end of the spectrum as far as black bears go. Right from the start here, the trail begins to climb up a lot of rocks. Jeez. And just, they're not wasting any time with this 0.5 mile peak. Just going right up, right from the get-go. I imagine it will be this way all the way to the top. For being 0.5 miles right from the road, whew, Rocky Mountain just climbs. It just keeps going straight up. Forest is pretty open. The more dirt and rock trail. Good amount of rocks to rock hop mixed with some very large, very large trees. I turn around, got some views at the, this point already, which is cool. My first time hiking here in the Western Adirondacks. Made it up one of the steeper sections here on Rocky. Now I'm on a little bit of flat section, which is nice, considering it doesn't really let up for the first good portion of this small 0.5 mile each way hike. Whew, what a way to wake up. The trail finally leveled off for a minute here, which is nice after the, the initial climb. Pretty gradual now as you work your way through this very open forest. Just past a mother and her little son. He was probably four or five. He was covered in mud, must have taken a fall or two, but they're out here. They're out here on the trail, getting it done. Hello, mud. Yep, soon you won't be able to see very far once all these leaves come for the season. I could be wrong, but I feel like I might be approaching the summit since we're pretty, pretty level at this point, but I could be wrong as I climb up this little slab. It has a very summit-like vibe with lots of weeds up here that looks like someone needs to bring a lawnmower up here and cut the grass. I'm making my way up this final push up these slabs 
here on Rocky Mountain, overlooking some beautiful lakes, sun shining, a little bit of clouds in the sky, but lots of blue as well. Nice temperature, it's about mid 50s, which is great. Yeah, the final push to the summit has me walking up a lot of slab, nice and gradual, which is cool. And I'm definitely here, definitely here at the summit. Took about 11.24 to 11.40. All right, about 16 minutes. Not bad. Wow, this is very cool. Very flat up top. Very nice size uh, summit with boulders overlooking what I imagine is Old Forge and Inlet. And I'm not sure exactly which lake, actually lakes. It's pretty cool up here. You don't get a lot of huge lake views when you're hiking in the High Peaks region. So this is definitely different and very cool. I'm into it. Rocky Mountain. All right, about to head back down Rocky Mountain, which is a shame because this summit is great. It's very big, lots of places to sit and enjoy a sandwich and take in these big lake views and some mountains views in the background as well. But the lake is definitely the prime attraction up here. But uh, I've got some other peaks to do and a limited amount of time today. So, Rocky Mountain, you were great. Onward. I'm gonna head back down to the trailhead, walk across the parking lot to Black Bear Mountain, which is the biggest mountain in the Fulton Chain Trifecta here in Old Forge. Overall, I'd say Rocky Mountain is a great little hike to get you outside and get a nice little workout in. You just kind of climb right up it, enjoy the summit at the top, head back down. But I tell you, that beginning climb for the first probably probably quarter of a mile, really, was, uh, yeah, that's a, that'll get you going. It's a much more gentle climb once you get to that first meadow clearing area with a lot of rocks to climb up slabs so it's pretty easy climbing in that regard trails very dry just a little bit of mud here and there but no more than there will be later in the summer very open great views you can unfortunately pretty much hear traffic the whole way up since you're you know not going that far into the woods but that's all right still a very fun trail it's great having these small mountains nearby when you're living in this area because it's just so easy to just get in the woods. You don't have to think about it. You can go up it all the time, every day, and it's not really a big deal. Just decide, hey, I'm gonna go up there, and then you go. Which is why I'm a big fan of Mount Van Hovenberg, Mount Joe, Baker, Cobble Hill. Love those small mountains that don't really require any thinking. You can just go do it get the heart rate going and get in the woods and get up and get some mountain views. And as my daughter says, smell that fresh mountain air. Making my way down the mountain here, nice and quickly. Nice and easy trail to go down. Just past the mom and her son, having a great time here on the trail today. Down the rocks we go following the yellow trail markers and the traffic is getting louder and louder. So I'm clearly, clearly approaching the bottom. The trail's pretty obvious on this one, for the most part. A couple sections where you're just kind of looking around for a second, but for the most part, it's very evident. And there's lots of trail markers, which is nice on these small mountains. So you don't have to require much thinking if you're new and just trying to get into being outside on the trail, it's a good one to start with. All right, made it back to the trailhead, just, just up ahead, 11.53. So this trail, one mile little hike, was 
basically 30 minutes start to finish with a maybe five, six, seven minutes up top, which was fun, but nice and quick, very enjoyable. Now heading across the parking lot to go hit Black Bear Mountain. Should be a good, good time. All right, making my way across the parking lot over here to the other side of the parking lot to the Black Bear Mountain Trail as the wind starts to blow and the traffic goes past me. I stopped at my car to grab my trekking poles, which for some reason I went up the other one, Rocky Mountain, without them. I like to have them. I also like having something in my hands while I'm hiking. You never know what you're going to come across. I like to have something to defend myself if necessary. And also trekking poles make it a lot, a lot easier in my opinion. All right, here we are at the Black Bear Mountain Trail. About to sign in. There's the southerly approach, which is the yellow trail, then the blue trail, just 1.9 miles, according to the sign here at the sign-in. And the northerly approach, yellow trail, which is 2.2 miles. So I'll probably end up going yellow to blue and then loop back down the other way, making for a nice loop trail today as I sign in. All right, we're signed in and underway. Black Bear Mountain. Following the yellow trail up at the moment, probably going to the blue trail once I come to the trail split. Right from the start, we have a nice flat woods trail going in. Nice way to start, as opposed to the Rocky Mountain, which 10 feet from the trailhead starts just going up. So, but this is a much longer trail. So I expect a lot more variety. So I really liked Rocky Mountain. Really cool views up top too, with the lake in the forefront as you're raised up above it. Which are views I haven't seen very much in my personal hiking in the high peaks. Trail continues to wind its way through the woods. The split's around 0.7 miles, so I wouldn't be surprised if this goes all the way to that point as an approach. Just finishing my way walking over about probably a 50 yard stretch of pure mud, clomping my way through. And over here at the river, since as I mentioned, I'm here for work and I have, I had my hiking gear, but I had planned to stop at a gas station. Well, I should say, I hoped to stop at a gas station on my way up, but uh, I didn't pass any. So I actually currently have no water and only a Snickers bar and some granola bars. As I bushwhack my way over here to the river, where since this is the big mountain, I'm going to pump some water into my bladder that I have in my backpack so that I have water on this trail. And this river is a perfect spot for it. Just sitting here at the river, pumping some water, putting it back into my backpack. So now I have some water and now I'm not as, not as stressed out as I was. Hopefully you guys couldn't tell as you listen. But uh, yeah, I didn't have any water for that first hike. And now I have a good liter and a half. So of that fresh Adirondack River water. All right, pumping complete. Time to uh, walk back to the trail over here. Now that I have a liter and a half of water in my bladder. And it is cold, fresh mountain water. It is tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah, that is good. That is good. 